It's probably been about 15 years since I went a Friday night without drinking. Except for that time last year I had gastroenteritis and couldn't get out of bed. And even then I had a couple of tiskies just to take the edge off. To go out on a Friday and not drink and seem happy and talk to people? How the fuck are you supposed to do that? That teenage night was a lot like this one. Booze, booze everywhere, but not a drop to drink. You can ask someone then, Craggy. I see this guy coming down now. Try him, try him. Go on, I'm ask him. You can ask him for me. You're the confident one. Uh, excuse me. Will you go into the shop and get us some booze, please? It's not for me. It's for my, uh, my granddad. Uh, he's broken his hip. I mean, he's 75. He can't really get out and that. He just wants a drink on a Friday night. Yeah, all right. What's he want? Um, 12 bottle of WKD. Blue, please. <laughs> nice try. For fuck's sake. Here. Do you know who we should ask? Old Larry Metcalf. Who the hell is old Larry Metcalf? Larry, you know Larry. He's that bloke who'll buy anyone booze. He don't give two fucks how old you are. And he only lives round corner. Because he buys booze for kids, don't make him a pedo. It's a slippery slope though, isn't it? I've got a better idea. It's right now, I see clearer than most. I sit here contented with this cheese on toast. Yes, sir. Does it look like it? Well, you might have stashed it in them clown pockets that you got. <laughs> this is my dead uncle's suit, you little prick. What, did I have been fucking huge? No, he slipped and cracked his head in the shower. Didn't feel a thing, apparently. That's how I want to go. Oh, shit, what? Come on, let's go. Keep going, boys. Ralph, come on. Nah. Fuck that. Now then, Ralph. Will you buy us some booze? You what? Will you buy us some booze? What's just happened there, Tinhead? Ralph just asked you to buy him booze, Rupert. What, Ralph? We got battered a couple of weeks back for being a mouthy little prick and not knowing his place. He's asking me, why his mate, to buy him booze? Yeah, blag's head, that. How do you feel about that, Tinhead? I don't know. How do you feel about it, Rupert? No, I think it's funny. I think it's real funny. I think it's proper funny. Ha 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 Cheeky little prick! Asking me to buy you booze? Cheeky, take some real stones. Yeah, let's have a look at that shiner. Oh, it's a beauty, that lad. Look at that, Tinhead. Ah, uh, it's a proper nice and Yeah, that. gorgeous, isn't it? All oh, yellows and blues uh, and that. Why does it do that, Tinhead? It's due to the breakdown of haemoglobin. Just, just no shit like that, Tinhead, you know, it's mad. Right, now then, boys. Hey, Craggy. Well done for making effort to look smart on Friday night, mate. Like a proper little mogul on that, doesn't it? Yeah. Don't you like a mogul today? Yeah, exactly like a mogul. Yeah, a proper mogul, man. Right, so what, you want us to buy you some drinks, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. you will. All right, what do you want, then? Uh, yeah, cider. Fanta lemon. Tell you what, I'll take your money and I'll pick for you, lads, all right? Fucking hell, I feel like guy out of uh, Oliver Twist. All the orphans. Fagin. Fagin, I feel like Fagin, to be honest, Tinhead. Come on, mate, let's get you a drink. Scumbag, scum of the earth, he swerved was nil until he gained the skill of tongues from 15 years young. Thank you. Get off. Left for me and Tinhead. I've got this for you. Green Danger Cider. What's this? Cider is fermented from apples. Yeah, I know. It's just not what we wanted. We don't always get what you want, do you, Ralph? So did you get that with our money? Craggy lot. Such a little mogul, isn't you? You're talking about money. So what then, boys? You're all, you're all big men now, yeah? Getting pissed up and that, yeah? I was about to come get blind over with us in Gleeb's Woods tonight. Um, will Whitey be there? Right, Whitey's going away for a bit, all right? Won't be seeing him round this town for a bit. Where's he gone? I can't tell you. Whitey would move to Blackpool to do a hotel catering course. Right, so then, boys. Get in car. Had a squeezing boot. <laughs> 